Hey everybody, it's Delicia here. Thanks for tuning in to my weekly top five cigar picks. These are these cigars coming out of my humidor and also out of a very special humidor. Um, I'll explain that in a moment. Hopefully helping you through um, your week of smoking. Um, we're continuing on into this whole craziness of the coronavirus, COVID-19, all that fun stuff where a lot of us are being quarantined. A lot of us are stuck um, without many of the resources that we normally enjoy. First off, I wanted to say thank you all because last Sunday's video had so many great comments and I really appreciate you guys, you know, chiming in and sharing your stories. There's too many of us that are feeling the effects of this. Um, um, I know just since I did that last video, me personally, um, in my immediate circle of family members and friends, um, there's been you know quite a few that are uh, without a job and, or waiting to either start a new job or go back to work because everything's you know on hold, suspended, all that fun stuff. And I know that there's a lot of you that are experiencing the same thing, which kind of um, gave me this idea uh, to try to collaborate for a couple different reasons. Um, one, in the hopes of helping out a friend of mine, but also uh, for a lot of you who are facing these, um, you know, no real nice way to put it, but the budget restrictions or, you know, tough, you know, financial times um, during this moment, I put together a weekly five pack sampler with a friend of mine who had to close his lounge. Um, you know, obviously with all these different restrictions that's happening to many of our local retailers, some of them are able to keep uh, their doors open and just allow people to come in and buy but this wasn't the case for a friend of mine who um, very near and dear to my heart sam at robusto cigar lounge out in arcadia california um, i just so happened to be thinking of like who could i collaborate with to come up with a um, a nice little five pack that would be cost efficient for those of you watching who again are facing more of the um, financial hardship or maybe you have a close friend or somebody else that could use a little pick-me-up um, you could definitely take advantage of this and send it out to them. But um, Sam over at Robusto's was the first person that actually invited me out to his lounge when he was first opening. So we kind of started our journey um, around the same time, him on the retail side of things. He reached out to me when I was first starting my channel, um, you know, very low amount of views, um, didn't have very many subscribers at all, didn't even have Instagram yet. Um, this was again way back when, almost eight years ago when I started and I don't even know how he found me. Maybe somebody told him or maybe he was just a, a YouTuber back then that was watching videos but he reached out to me and invited me to his lounge to do like a lounge review and I actually I have that up on my channel still. It's pretty old now but you can you can look at that you can see that the equipment that I was using, the audio, all that stuff is somewhat improved, you know, in time. But again, Sam was the first to do that. And I always remember the people that supported me in the very beginning. So again, Sam was one of them. I was fortunate enough to attend his, I think it was his five year anniversary party um, that he had a few years back, which was a lot of fun. And again, just a really nice person, um, has a, a lounge and then has, has added like a tasting room to that. And again, he was kind enough to collaborate with me and he's offering free shipping to um, those of you who wanna order domestic shipping. So this is again for uh, US residents. Sorry if anybody's watching internationally, um, that's a whole nother thing. Plus we don't really know if things are getting held up at customs and all that fun stuff. So this is going for um, domestic orders. But again, we put together a five pack. Um, these are cigars that I'm recommending. It's a five pack, it's a flat, 25 bucks for the five cigars. And again, a good deal for the cigars that I'm gonna mention. Also, it's helping out you know, his, uh, his lounge and then a, a lot of you that are again looking for those deals because I do know that sometimes the cigars that I recommend are, uh, can be a you know, higher price point. And so again, I was kind of doing some digging and looking for uh, good cigars that were um, at a lower price point that were still gonna you know, be uh, worth smoking. And um, again, kind of, helping and that's what we try to do during these times. So without further ado, let me get right into those cigars. So starting with number five, sorry, smoking break. We have the Grand Habano Corojo number five, the Maduro Imperial. It's a Nicaraguan Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano binder, Nicaraguan uh, Jalapa and Costa Rican on the filler. So nice notes of anise, black coffee, a little bit of an earthiness. You get a, a little bit of a slight citrus on that as well. Um, and it's a very nice cigar. Again, uh, with this five pack, all of them are included for that flat 25 bucks and free shipping. 
So make sure you visit. And I just realized that I didn't even say the website yet. It's robusto.com. So just like the cigar size. So www.robusto.com. And um, yeah, moving along. So number four is the Esteban Carreras Connecticut White Label. It's a beautiful Bellicoso. Um, a Connecticut wrapper that's been aged for 12 years. Dominican binder, Dominican and Nicaragua on the filler. So this cigar is a very mild cigar. So it's perfect for morning time, perfect for those people that are a little bit newer to smoking, that you're kind of still filling out you know, your, your flavor profiles and you're not looking for anything overwhelming. This is a great gift for if you're not that person that doesn't enjoy super mild cigars, maybe you have somebody uh, that you know that's getting into cigars or that's looking for those more mild sticks. So again, there's always a cigar out there for somebody. Um, this is That would be my recommendation for this particular one. Not necessarily in my particular wheelhouse because it's a little bit mild for my particular uh, taste. But again, there's a lot of you out there that enjoy those milder sticks or we all know somebody that would. So this one is still a really nice um, offering. It's a little bit creamy. So again, great with coffee. Has a little bit of that mild cedar, light pepper, um, it's a very easy smoke, so that's um, a very nice recommendation, again, um, for those of you who are newer or just know somebody that could enjoy that um, or in the morning with your coffee. Can't go wrong there. Moving on to number three, we have the Gurkha Havana Legend. So this one was kind of a revamped um, reintroduction from Gurkha a little bit a little while ago. Um, this one has an Ecuadorian Havana wrapper. It has a Dominican Olor binder, Dominican and Nicaragua on the fillers. So you get the toasted bread, the sweet creams, um, a little bit of a black pepper. There's a hint of nuttiness in the background. Um, Gurkha is one of those companies that uh, they have a very large offering in their overall portfolio. And um, this was one that they, again, was out a while ago. They kind of revamped it. I believe they kept the blend the same and they kind of reintroduced it. Um, that happened uh, quite a bit last year and the year prior with all the whole FDA scares. There's a lot of brands that were doing these kind of repackaging some of their older brands to give them a new, um, new eyeballs, if you will, in the market. So definitely one that, um, again, it's not super strong. It's probably a nice uh, medium body, so easy for pretty much any time of the day. And um, yeah, very nice offering from Gurkha. So number two has actually been on my lineup uh, fairly recently, if I recall correctly, it's the El Criollito from Abe Flores. So Abe Flores, PDR Cigars, he actually makes um, he makes a lot of cigars out in the market, including Gurkha. And I want to say that the one I just mentioned, the Gurkha Havana Legend, is made... Now I can't remember if it's made by him. I think he makes The Ghost. Or it might be um, they also have another company that they work with that makes their cigars. So in fact, I think that's that other company. So scratch that. But anyways, Abe Flores, he's um, in the industry. He has his own line as well as making cigars for other people, um, like many cigar manufacturers out there that they collaborate on things. Um, so the El Criollito has an Ecuadorian Criollo 98 wrapper, a Mexican San Andres binder, Dominican Nicaraguan Criollo 98 on the filler, so again, creamy, nutty, dark chocolate. You get the little coffee notes, nice leather in the background, but a nice offering again, pretty well-rounded, nice and balanced and, and a good stick. Um, moving on to number one this week, we have the Drew Estate Undercrown. This is the Sun Grown Edition. Um, beautiful offering, has a nice Ecuadorian Sumatra seed that's a Sun Grown wrapper, has the Connecticut Valley River stock cut. <laughs> Um, which has been cured and sun-grown, and that's a Habano seed as well, and Nicaraguan filler. So you get the subtle pepper, you get a nice earthiness, cinnamon, nutmeg, a um, little bit of a creamy milk chocolate, and then there's that hint of woodsiness. So again, with that Connecticut Valley stock cut, it's a really cool process. Um, I did it, I've shown you guys pictures before, but that stock cut is very different um, in the sense that most people, when they're... Um, harvesting tobacco, there's the word, harvesting tobacco, they start priming it. And so they pull a few leaves at a time from the bottom all the way up with leaving a certain amount of days in between each of those sections. And with the stock cut, of course, it's cut straight across and the whole thing is um, hung upside down in the curing barn and left to, to dry out and cure that way. So it's a whole different 
process. It's a different flavor profile. It's a different um, thickness to the leaves in that sense and in that whole process, but it's really cool to watch it. And I did um, my work <laughs> when I visited a factory a while back, or I'm sorry, a farm rather, um, in Connecticut and watched that process and tried it myself. And it's, it's a lot of work. <laughs> so again, when you go out and you um, try to roll a cigar or you visit the factories or you, in this case, you know, try to um, do some of that, that work, it gives you that added appreciation for the, the end result, which most of us, you know, when we glance over some of these different blends and these different descriptions, it's kind of like, you know, over your head, you just care about what it tastes like. What does it smoke, smoke like? But when you actually have gone out and done it or tried to do it, again, it gives you that added sense of appreciation. So um, that's my two cents. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy these five cigars that are selected. Um, I did get a lot of people that were asking, you know, what's the recommended, you know, online websites for cigar ordering. And again, I, I tried to answer everybody the same. And I will tell you, you know, on this video, please try to, you know, seek out your local brick and mortars. A lot of them are offering online or phone orders. And in this case, again, um, hopefully you guys will help me out by helping out my friend and I'm passing along this the savings to you guys, you know, these five cigars for 25, go ahead and order right directly on robusto.com. And, um, oh, also you'll find it on the website when you click on, uh, you know, the, the cigars for sale and it's under the weekly five pack sampler. So it says weekly five pack sampler and it's listed for 25 bucks, all five of these cigars that I just described to you. And again, love to hear your feedback. Um, I'm gonna be trying to do this for a little bit while we're all in this, stuck in this whole situation. So if you have any um, anybody else that's near and dear to you, any close friends that are going through this with their lounge being um, you know closed down and they uh, they're offering you know online ordering or phone ordering, let me know. Private message me, and again trying to collaborate with some of these lounges so that you guys can continue to receive your cigars and then hopefully help out some of these local retailers that um, are having to to close their doors and helping them stay afloat and stay in business. All of us helping each other out, hopefully during this time. And again, I hope you guys are safe and, um, and healthy out there. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all your great comments and your support. Truly appreciate it. And I do wish you all the best and I'll see you soon. Cheers.